If you want to know how to make a museum robbery like the Jabberwock one in your Roblox game, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this brand new video on this channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a museum on uh, Roblox using uh, some, some funny stuff. Uh, this is part 2. If you didn't watch part 1 yet, make sure to do so because it has like 500 views by the time recording this. And that makes me very pog and thank you all so much for all the support. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe because poggers and money. That was a joke. Um... Just subscribe if you want to know how to script or how to make certain things. Make sure to join my Discord server and suggest things. I review them like every day. Anyways, um, if you want to become a member, make sure to click the blue join button down below. And we can get on. So, yes. Let's see. Hmm. So, let's start off with the ex escaping part. So, because... You know, Chopper has like puzzles. We're not gonna get really into that because this is just If you want me to die, then tell me to do it. Anyways, what you gotta do, you gotta copy your exploit part, part one, part two, player name one, player name two. Gotta copy him. Gotta make a new folder. Just name it. Escape part. Yeah, I believe I did that incorrect. Um, the escape part. You just gotta add that in. And all you wanna do is move these things over here. Then you can do this. Make it a bit bigger if you want. And then, um, you don't have to do anything to the scripts because we're transferring it to something else. Uh, but you, what you do have to do. It's over in this script. Gotta add a few more stuff. Such as script.parent dot parent. Zoom in dot parent escape part dot player name one dot value is equal to nothing. And I'm just gonna copy and paste that. I am too lazy to type that over. Player name two. Now script dot parent dot parent dot parent escape part dot explode part dot can collide is equal to true. And you gotta copy that. And transparency is zero. Now we're gonna do something a little bit weird. For I comma V in Paris game dot workspace dot museum robbery colon get children do. If V dot name is equals equals to bag giver. So if it is a bag giver, then we're just gonna reset it back. V dot transparency is equal to zero. V dot proximity prompt. That enabled is because it's true. And that's your reset script completely done. Now over here you have a bag giver. And we're gonna edit it. Get the bag event into museum robbery folder. Go to your script and type script.parent.proximity prompt that triggered colon connect function p model script.parent.parent.bag event colon fire p model script dot parent dot proximity prompt dot enable is to false and script dot parent dot transparency is to one now if you want you can copy it like multiple times so you have like multiple paintings or something I believe that's six yeah okay but now we got six of them so that's um I think pretty pog. Now go to start your player, go to start your character script, and delete that entire script. Go to surface script service, go to the folder, add a script, and name it bag giver event. Now go to your bag giver script, of course. And now we're gonna type game dot workspace dot museum robbery dot bag event dot event colon connect function player local p model is it the player dot character if not p model then return end we're just gonna not do it we're gonna not we're not gonna do anything if, if there's no p model local hum is it the p model 
colon wait for child humanoid local ss is because the game colon get service uh service storage fp model colon find first child bag so if you already have a bag then we're only gonna give you money by saying player that museum money value that value plus equals 500 we're gonna give you 500 for every time um you get, you, you get like a part now we can do else local bag is because ss client find first child and now we're gonna do bag colon clone hum colon add accessory bag and we're gonna do player that museum money value that value plus equals 500 we're gonna give you 500 too no, I believe we're actually already done. It's quite a short uh, video, but we're just going to do this. We're going to test this out. As you can see, I'm in a two-player server. So normally, you would first of all uh, get the thing. So I'm just going to uh, hold E and then on my other account. I'm also going to do that. Normally, you, you can get in now. Now you can get a painting. So let's do that with both accounts. This is going to be mine. As you can see, we get $500. The part goes away. And we get a bag. Now, let's just get some money. I'm going to get four of these. And my other account gets two. So, I have $2,000 now. And my other account is going to get it back too. As you can see. It's going to get a bag right now. Boom. And then, it's going to get more money. So, now, normally, you would go to the escape parts. Which is these. And then you gotta hold E, of course, again. Now let's hold E. This one's activated. Now my other account. The other is activated. The part goes away. And now you should be able to walk through it. And then over here. If I just... Go over here. And go through it. My account gets a $1,000 because it had a 1000 The bag goes away for him. Now if we try the same. We get $2,000. Our bag goes away. And we can retry this. Normally, you can just go in here, boom, everything gets reset it. So now, to add that, what we're going to be doing is this part is going right over here. Like, seriously, right over here. So now, let's test it one more time. Alrighty, we're back. I'm just going to immediately get the money because I'm not going to waste my time. Alrighty, that's enough. Let me just get on my other account. Just one single one of them. Alrighty. Now if I walk to this part. Now we're going to both hold E. This one's going to go E. This one's also going to go E. This part goes away. And now we can safely walk out. And then let's go. Let's go boom. And oh oops. Well, actually, as you can see, everything gets resetted. And that's your museum robbery. So as you see, this is just a short video on how to fix the last things. We did every single thing now. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And um, if you want new gaming content, make sure to like and subscribe. My name is Newbie, and I say peace out.